What if your laughter became someone else's nightmare? Imagine the pain caused by words, by mockery, by the cruel laughter of others. This isn't fiction, it's reality for countless young people around the world. Once upon a time in a bustling high school, there was a girl named Lily. Lily was different. She didn't come from a wealthy family. She didn't wear designer clothes or drive a flashy car. She was simply Lily, kind, hardworking, and full of dreams. Yet her difference made her a target, a target for the privileged, the rich, the bullies. Every day they would taunt her, belittling her for the clothes she wore, the lunch she ate, the way she spoke. Their laughter echoed in the hallways, a cruel symphony of mockery that followed Lily wherever she went. Yet, Lily bore it all with a brave face, her spirit unbroken, her dreams undeterred. Lily's story is not unique. It's a tale as old as time, a tale of the weak being preyed upon by the strong. But Lily was not weak, she was strong, stronger than any of her bullies could ever hope to be. She was strong because she knew who she was, she knew her worth was not defined by her clothes or her wealth, but by her character, her kindness, her dreams. The bullies on the other hand were weak. They hid behind their wealth, their privilege, using it as a weapon to hurt others, to make themselves feel powerful. But their power was an illusion, a fragile facade that could shatter at any moment. In the end, Lily's story is not just about bullying. It's about strength, resilience, and the power of self-belief. It's about standing tall against the odds, refusing to let others define your worth. So remember, next time you laugh, make sure it's not at someone else's expense. Next time you speak, make sure your words don't wound, because every word, every action, every laugh has the power to hurt or to heal, to break or to build, to bully or to uplift. Bullying isn't a joke, it's a cruel, painful reality for many. But it doesn't have to be this way. We all have the power to change, to choose kindness over cruelty, understanding over mockery, love over hate. In the end, it's not about what you have, but who you are. And who you are is not defined by your wealth, your clothes, or your social status, but by your actions, your words, your kindness. So be kind, be understanding, be like Lily. Because in a world full of bullies, it's the lilies who truly make a difference.